Hello, my loves. Hello, hello. As you can see, we're going to do a smoky eye tutorial. The video did cut off, so I have already applied three shades to my eyelids. Um, as you can see, my face is all pretty much almost done. Um, I already have my foundation and my concealer, but... Um, the, like I said, the video had cut off prior to, but that is okay because we are right here at the part where we want to, um, where the important part, you want to know how to apply these black eyeshadows, right? So first, before we even go into the black eyeshadows, we are going to take some loose translucent, translucent powder, okay? And we are going to just... Um, place it like at the the lower part of our eye into the corner because we want we don't want our base um we don't want any fallout to mess up our base so we're just okay so this is not powder that you really want to sink into your skin you're just lightly dusting it right there on top right there at the edge so we can catch any fallout if so be it if any fallout decides to you know to start try to trying to be a hater we don't want no fallout trying to be a hater so let me just show you what i've done so far so now um we are started out with our milani soft uh soft and sultry palette okay I love all these Milani palettes. I think I have all four. Um, but yeah, this is a very neutral palette, but you can do a lot with it, okay? As you can see, there's plenty of mattes and metallics. Um, there's some lighter shades, neutrals, where you can get um, some daytime looks. You can also get, um, you know, some really nice smoky looks, you know, with the browns and the blacks, okay? Nice metallic. You can even do like a little two-step, you know, with a couple, a transition, a crease, shade and then your um you know metallic you can just do a crease and a metallic so it's just all about what you want to do but they make it really easy because they place you know all the colors together where you see where everything can kind of like go together all right so what we did so far is we used this shade right here because i love to start all my looks with a base like a flesh tone shade so for my color you know that i'm gonna need something really light so I just like to put that all over my lid. And then we go down and we just get a little bit darker. So I went into that shade all over my lid as well. And then we went down here into this darker shade and we just applied that just into the crease, okay? And so where we're at now, we are in our ELF, our Opposites Attract palette, okay? And we are um, using this gray shade right here, all right? So we're using this gray shade and I did already apply a little bit on both sides, but I am going to go back in again with that shade. So we're right here. Perfect timing. Okay. And you basically just want to go right into your crease, right into your crease with that shade. And then just a little bit higher, not too high because as you apply each shade, you always want to go in um, and blend the edges. And when you go into blending your edges, a lot of times you're going to disperse those shadows up higher. So initially you don't have to go in too high, okay? So as you can see, we got got the gray up to the intensity that we want it there, okay? Because we just want something to build the black up, you know, build the black up with. Um, so that's why we're going in with this gray. Like I said, we'll just go like a little bit up higher where our, our brow bone is and boom, there we are with that. Okay, so now here is the fun part. Here is the black. This is where we get smoky and sexy, okay? All right, so we're going to take a very detailed brush because when you are working with blacks, less is more. Less is more, okay? Um, because you can always build it up, okay? But you don't want to go in with too much. And then you're trying to wipe it off. You're trying to blend it out. It's just turning into a mess. It can get messy really, really quick, okay? And excuse what I have on my lips, you guys. I was just trying out. I had got this, um, where is it? It's a Wet n' Wild uh, new lippy. They have these metallic lip lippies. 
and this is what it is. And so I was just trying it just to see what it is because I didn't know if it was um going to be the matte, the matte finish, which it is. It's metallic, but it's actually matte. And it's on there like you can't feel it or nothing. But I don't really like metallic lipsticks like this. I feel like they show every freaking crack in your lip. So I'm not with that. So, I mean, but if it's your thing, I was just trying it out to see if it was a gloss or more like glossy or if it dried down matte. But anyway, so we're going in with this black. So we're going to go back into our soft and sultry palette. Okay. And we are going to go in with this black shade right there. And excuse my voice, you guys, I don't know what is going on. So like I said, we just got a tiny bit on that brush and we are going to go just dab, you see that? Okay, so we're just going to dab and you're just dabbing on that outer corner, okay? And as you're dabbing, you're kind of just patting in Patting in while lightly dispersing the color. Okay. All right. And as you can see, like I said, you can build it up. So we just did dip in just a little bit more. And again, we're just patting on that outer V the outer V up to the crease. So when I say outer V, as you can see how the corner of your eye like slants down to like a V shape, you know, down there's the point and then when it goes up and it widens out, it's like the shape of a V. So as you can see, like it, it looks like a V. Okay. And that's what, it, what you want it to look like. All right. So that's where we're at so far. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to blend that black out. I'm blending it out over across my lid. Okay. All right, you see that? And we're going to leave it right there at halfway, okay? So we're right there at halfway, and we're going to leave it like that, and then we're going to go into the next eye. And we're going to repeat. And again, we're just going to dab, dab and pat. And when we're patting, we are kind of dragging it inward, okay? So I hope y'all all are enjoying your night. The DJ challenge is going on right now on YouTube. So hope you guys are all having fun. I was watching while I was doing the other part of my face. And then I'm like, let me go ahead. We are at the eye part. So let me go ahead and, and record. And then I'm going to jump back in the YouTube streets myself. So you see how we, we want that faded look as we're going to the inner corner. We do want that faded look. Okay. All right. And so then what we're going to do is take our brush that we applied the gray with, and we're just going to go over those edges. We're just going to go over. And we're just lightly taking our brush. No more product. We're not applying more product. We're just taking our brush and we're just going over those edges so that we can blend out any harsh lines. Okay. that's what you don't want. You don't want any harsh line. You want a nice faded ombre. Okay. That's what you want. Now we are going to go back into that black. All right. And we're going to go back to that outer corner and we're going to pat. We're going to pat. And now we are going to go and we're going to go to our bottom lash. We're kind of going to bring that color around to our bottom lash. Okay. 
So there we go. And y'all, it is thunderstorm in here and everything. It's been just all day. I didn't even go back out and do any of my um, Dollar General, which I'm so upset now that I'm sitting here. But, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you just got to chill. Um, I took a nap, y'all, so I'm up. And so we're just dragging that color along our lower lash line. And then we're going back up into the crease. Okay. All right. And we're going to do the same thing over on this side. We're just going to pat in that outer corner. And then we're going to pat, just get a little bit more product. And we're going to come around to that bottom. Yes, yes. Then we're going to go up into that crease, okay? And then we're going to take our brush that we applied that gray with, and we're just going to go. And we are going to blend out those edges, y'all. Blend out those edges. And we are definitely smoker, smokier on the right than we are the left. So we're just going to go in with just a tad bit more. There we go. Yes. Then we're going to blend that out. All right. So, okay. So now we are going to focus on the second half of our eye. And as we do that, we are going to go into our Bold Obsessions Milani palette. This is the Milani Bold Obsess Obsessions. This is one of their original first palettes. This palette is beautiful. You have your neutrals, your cranberries. You have your black, so you can go smoky. You can go your brown smoky. You got your cranberries. Like I said, you can got, go with a neutral daytime look. Okay, so... This just has so many, so many different options. So I love it. Right now, I'm just taking this fluffy brush. And I am running it on my lower lash line. Just blending that out. Just blending out that product. Because it's all about blending, blending, blending. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is they have a beautiful silver, and we are going to take this light silver right here, and we are going to apply that on the front part of our on the inner part of our eye, and we're just going to pat that metallic. Oh, I can't see. Okay, did I? Okay, yeah. My bad, y'all was like, what? Okay, so we're just gonna pat this metallic in that inner corner. Okay. And again on this eye. 
And you can just use your eyeball and your crease as a guide to how far up you're gonna go, cause you're gonna stop. And you can just use patting motions. Okay, so that way you can control the fallout of the product. All right, now we are going to go in with a little bit because you don't want there to be any definite line from where that, that metallic is to where your black stops. You always want to blend out those, those lines where the two meet, okay? Whatever it is. All right, and so we're gonna go ahead and apply some more. More metallic. There we go, because you just want that faded ombre. And you just keep patting and going back and forth and everything until you get it right. And then you just want to take that brush that you've been blending out with and just blend out those edges. Okay, and then just one time for the one time, just to deepen it up just a little bit more, because we lost some of it, we're going to go in this outer corner we're going to pat, 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 just only in the corner. That's it. Because you want, you know, it's darkest in the outer corner. And then, you know, it gets a little bit lighter and then a little bit lighter. That's basically the idea of it. Okay. And it is time for liner and lashes. And then we're gonna go ahead and wipe this away and then we're done, okay? So where we at? We got our line on. Let's do our lashes first. So yeah, y'all. So if you have any questions, but pretty much this is it. Um, because it's all about um, you know, you don't want to go too, too smoky and you do it to what you like, you know, um, I have a look in mind, a black eye where there's like a bomb ass, uh, metallic look with it. So I definitely want to do that as well. Um, I kind of want to do that when I'm actually going somewhere, but when do I freaking ever go anywhere? So we need to go ahead and get that done. Because it's just makeup. We can always do it again, right? But for right now, this is just going to be the traditional black smoky eye. Just, you know, sexy, beautiful. You can't even go darker. You can even go not meta no metallic if you don't want. It's all up to what you want to do. Um... So, yeah, so it's just about what you want to do and what you feel comfortable with. We're going to go ahead and apply our lashes. Oh, 
Y'all. Oh. <laughs> then I'll just do a lash tutorial. But y'all, I'm being extra careful because you got to be extra careful because um, you don't want the freaking lash to mess up your eyeshadow. So what you can do is you can just like lay them like directly on your lashes. You know what I'm saying? And then ease them back. If you don't want to go The last thing you want to do is do all that hard work. You know what I'm saying? And then boom. No problem, no problem. It's all a process, y'all. Practice makes perfect, okay? Don't ever be discouraged. Don't ever feel like you can't do it. Because you can do whatever you want to do. All right, y'all. There you go. I just got to think about this white glue. I'd be scared it's not going to dry clear. But it will, it will. Don't be scared to use your fingers. Sometimes your fingers do a better job than all these tools we be trying to use. Okay. So lashes on, lashes on. And then we're going to get us some liner on.
Okay, y'all. Now, as far as your bottom lash liner, um, you know, you can add like a little pop of color if you want, and maybe like a dark green, a dark blue, a purple. I'm going to use black because it's a, like a traditional smoky eye. I want to keep, you know, keep it, you know, just like the regular black. Okay, y'all. Um, hold on. All right. So you want to go ahead and brush that powder away. So you see you don't have any fallout. All right. And you do that because you just want to, you want to clean up your edges, you know, your smoky edges. You just want to clean it up. Translucent powder helps with a whole lot, okay? It helps with a whole lot. All right, so now we are just going to like go in and powder the rest of our face just a little bit. And with powder, I pretty much like to pat in and then I'll go and swirl around. But I want to pat in to make sure that it's actually doing its job as far as setting the foundation because that's what powdering is all about. You are setting your foundation and make sure it won't move. Make sure it's staying in the right place. Okay. And then we're going to go in with a little bit of bronzer. This is going to be my first time using this bronzer. This is by NARS. It is um in the shade seaside and this is um you know bronzer it's a matte bronzer and bronzing is all about warming up the face so you just basically go over the perimeters of your face that the sun usually hits you know just think about what parts of your face stick out the most. And then, you know, when you're out in the sun, like when you come in, like what parts of your face do you notice that are tanned? And it's pretty much just your perimeters, right? Okay. That's all you want. All right, and then we are going to go in with our highlight. My bad, y'all. We're going to go in with our highlight. I like a little highlight on the forehead. I'm telling y'all, Wet n Wild highlighters, y'all better stop playing with Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild $5 highlighters. Okay, let me get this stuff off my lip. I'm 
All right, so we can go on and get us a oh pretty nasty red lip. Okay, and then we're gonna put on a little bit of blush. Hold on, hold up, y'all. I didn't get no blush. Hold up. a little bit of blush yes y'all this smoky eyes yes yes all right let me see what am i gonna do for a red lip should i do this is that um mac uh taraji p hansen do this one let me see well it's more like pinky so let me just go in with this one this is um revlon matte um this is the ultra hd matte lip color revlon these are nice velvety creamy lips And I like them because they don't really bleed. You um, you know, as you're putting it on, you have control over where it goes. Okay, now. Okay. Now hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Here it is. Here it is. And then I'm gonna go in with my Bobby Brown. Uh, this is my favorite red lip. Um this is their creamy matte lip color in the shade one red carpet. Okay, and then we are going to line all right well we're just gonna go on with this liner I wanted a more like a flesh tone nude but we're gonna go in with this one, okay? Because when you're wearing a red lip, you should definitely line.
Okay. All right, so we're gonna... Now where the heck, here we go. Okay. Okay, y'all, so here we go. All right, so I hope you like it. I hope you like it. I love it. I wish my hair was done. I could go somewhere. <laughs> so anyway, so y'all, this is the smoky eye. I hope you love it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here, okay? I'm going to go hop in the chats with the DJ Challenge, and I will talk to y'all later.